While the colonists were brooding over the outrages of the intolerable acts and the loss at Bunker Hill, a tiny pamphlet appeared in January 1776, which spoke to their grievances and tapped into their unspoken desire for independence. It was called Common Sense, and its author was a recent English immigrant named Thomas Paine. And he decided that he would write something to contribute to this debate on independence. And he called it common sense. And it turned out to be an unbelievably powerful statement in which he assaulted George III as a monster, an idiot. It was simple common sense, Paine argued, for Americans to sever ties with England. The English government had deprived Americans of their rights, dragged them into wars in which they had no interest, and inflicted violence upon them. The island of England was no more fit to rule the American continent, he wrote, than a satellite was fit to rule the sun. And then he went beyond that and ass assailed the whole idea of kingship. You know, who are these kings? You know, just because you're a king, does it mean you really should have the power, the intelligence to rule people and influence their lives? No, he said, only the people have the right to decide who should govern them. Common Sense sold more than 100,000 copies in its first few months. Payne's pamphlet touched the hearts and changed the minds of thousands of Americans. It came at the right time, in the right place, when colonists were ready to embrace a strong argument for independence.